Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sport. And some breaking news in the international rugby scene as Warren Gatlin is back in the helm of Wales, with Wales having officially confirmed that he will uh, be the official head coach following the sacking of Wayne Pivak, which is very interesting news for a number of different reasons and very interesting to see how this will uh, um, basically sort of really affect the sort of the, the couple of decisions being made by both, for example, the likes of the Welsh Rugby Union as well as um, England as well. Um, but uh, very big news ahead of the 2023 Rugby World Cup. Um, after a very disappointing year, for example, a couple of big decisions are being made by a couple of international teams. And it'll be interesting to see exactly what, how this also pans out. If we look at the official statement, please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. So we sort of expected to see an announcement about Wayne Pivak. It was announced that Wales Rugby Union were doing a sort of a review process. Uh, Rugby Football Union was doing the same thing about the England national side, following two pretty disappointing seasons. Um, from both by Wales as well as England, and very disappointing alternation series um, by both sort of camp and sort of teams. And the reason I mentioned England is because Warren Gatton obviously is is a, is a coach who's, who's world renowned. Um, you know the current uh, British Irish Lions coach, or was British Irish Lions coach. We wait to see if he'll do it again. Um, but sort of the big thing about sort of Warren Gatton is the fact that he's he's pretty good at, a, at quite a quick fix uh, sort of turnaround. And um, being sort of one of the sort of leading international coaches. There were a lot of rumors surrounding the fact that both Welsh Rugby Union as well as England were looking to potentially look at him as a, as a sort of a quick fix option. Now, Wales have obviously got their man, you know, and I think, you know, Warren Gatt's always had a very good relationship with Wales. He is the most successful Welsh head coach ever uh, in, in the history of, of, of Welsh rugby. Um, but what's very interesting is obviously he was sort of contracted to the Chiefs. Um, and also what's very interesting is sort of the length of contract. So if we go and look at the statement itself, um, Steve Phillips has confirmed that Gatton will take charge of the Wales for the 2023 Guinness Six Nations and at the 2023 Rugby World Cup with the ability to go through the next World Cup cycle up to and including Australia 2027. That's probably what we need. That's sort of the big, very big news is the fact that this is a long-term appointment. You know, providing everything sort of doesn't go terribly, he has basically been appointed up until 2027, potentially, um, which is which is a huge backing Um for him, and, and what's sort of interesting as well is the fact that they made the brave decision to sack a coach a year from the World Cup. But Wayne Pivak has just not done the job. At the end of the day, there's been a couple of, of moments where well, Wales almost looked like a good side, but you know I think that loss to Georgia was was very much sort of the nail in the coffin. Um, and if you look at sort of the, the, the expla explanation of, of sacking uh, um, Wayne Pivak, uh, the uh, CEO sort of Steve Phillips said as as follows: This is one of the toughest calls to make in sport, but the review process has reached its conclusion. And we have acted quickly and efficiently in the very best interests of our national team. Ultimately, we are on the results business and we have agreed with Wayne that the current trajectory for Wales is not where he wanted to be. And we thank him sincerely for his time, enthusiasm, diligence and effort, which is unquestioned as head coach over the last three years. Uh, Gatlin then leaves Super Rugby side Chiefs to return uh, after he served Wales in a 12-year period. Uh, he won the Six Nations, obviously, um, quite a few times actually, and uh, they said that in Warren, we are bringing in one of the very best coaches in the international game. We are very, we were sorry to see him go when he left, and we are delighted that he has agreed to return. We know him well, and most importantly, he knows us well too. We are extremely excited about this last, about this latest chapter for Wales and Warren Gatlin, and I know the feeling is mutual. Uh, he will undoubtedly be able to make an immediate impact, just as he did when he joined us for the first time in 2008, but it also been important to, um, to both parties to ensure we get absolute maximum game out of the return of such an experienced and highly regarded individual. It is the, for this reason we are particularly pleased to have been able to secure Warren services for the next few years with the ability to go to the 2027 World Cup. The appointment is no quick fix nor sticking plaster. It is a part of our longer term planning for the game in Wales. Um, and then, well, sorry, Warren Gatlin speaking about saying, I'm very much looking forward to returning to coach Wales. Um, this is an opportunity to achieve something with a talented group of players in a country so passionate about rugby, a country which made my family and I so welcome when we first arrived 15 years ago and all the time we were there. Our media priority is the, obviously the 2023 Guinness Six Nations and next year's Rugby World Cup. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's very big. And, and I think that it's the right decision. I think it is they're going back to someone they know and they trust. And I think, you know, when, when you see sort of these sort of decisions being made, it puts a lot of pressure on the players to, to really sort of stand up. And I think that Warren Gatlin is, is, a, is, a, is a coach who has he's got a proven record with Wales. And a lot of people didn't necessarily always like the bet sort of the style of rugby play at times, for example. Um and he's somebody that sometimes does 
uh, create quite a lot of controversy, but the results speak for themselves. You know, he won the Six Nations more than once with Wales. He he took them and made them very competitive at World Cups. I mean, the box beat them both World Cups 2015, 2019, had to work really hard to do so. So he does make Wales a very good side. I think if Wales uh, want to be competitive in the World Cup next year, I think he is the right coach to make. Now, what this is very interesting is that Eddie Jones also is reportedly on the brink. And Warren Gatlin is somebody that was also being tied with potentially replacing Eddie Jones. And uh, he's no longer on the market. So, for example, you now look at, for example, if you're going to sack Eddie Jones, who can England turn to? Scott Robertson, for example, is sort of the, the big sort of buzz uh, option at the moment. You know, somebody who's come out and said he would like to coach an international team. He'd like to coach the World Cup. And then he's not necessarily, he doesn't have to be New Zealand. He'd like to do it more than, with more than one side. So he suddenly becomes the very sort of attractive option um, for Rugby Football Union if they want to sort of bring him in for England. But, um, so yeah, so that is the, sort of the big news. Uh, but let me know what you think. Do you think it's the right decision down in the comments below? Do you think Warren Gatlin can turn this world side into world beaters? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.